Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India This is a stochastic processes model 1 probability theory refresher. Lecture 3 problems in random variables and distributions. Let as a first problem let x be a random variable. having geometric distribution with the parameter p. Our interest is to find our interest is to prove that probability of x is equal to n plus k given x takes the value greater than n that is same as the probability that x takes the value k for every integers n and k. We can prove this result by starting from the left hand side that is probability of x takes a value n plus k given x greater than n by definition this is same as probability of x is equal to n plus k intersection x greater than n divided by probability of x greater than n that is same as that is same as the numerator x is equal to greater than n means all possible values n is equal to n plus k that means uh, the intersection is going to be probability of x takes the value n plus k whereas the numerator denominator is a probability of x is greater than n that is same as since x is a geometric distribution with the parameter p the probability of x equal to n plus k that is nothing but 1 minus p time p power n plus k minus 1 into p whereas the denominator probability of x is greater than n that means summation i is equal to n plus 1 to infinity 1 minus p power i minus 1 multiplied by p. That is same as numerator we can keep it as it is whereas the denominator since the summation i is equal to n plus k to infinity you can take p times 1 minus p power n common outside then the remaining terms are 1 plus 1 minus p the third term will be 1 minus p whole square and so on. Therefore, we 
can still simplify you will get 1 minus p power n plus k minus 1 divided by 1 minus p power n keep it as it is. This series will have the value 1 minus 1 minus p. Therefore, if you further simplify you will get 1 minus p power k minus 1 multiplied by p that is nothing but probability of x is equal to p. So, this result says the probability of x equal to n plus k given x is greater than n that is same as probability of x is equal to k for all n and k. This is a important property of geometric distribution and this property is called a memoryless property. We will move into the next problem. Let x be a random variable having gamma distribution with the parameter n you assume that n is a positive integer and the other parameter is lambda. Then the cumulative distribution function C d f of x is given by capital F of x for the random variable x that is 1 minus summation i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 lambda x power i e power minus lambda times x divided by i factorial. So, whenever x is a gamma distribution with the parameters n and lambda then the CDF can be written in this form. We know that the probability density function of the gamma distribution is lambda power n x power n minus 1 e power minus lambda x divided by gamma of n. Since n is a positive integer gamma of n is a n minus 1 factorial. Now, we can find out the C d f of this random variable that is nothing but minus infinity to x the probability density function that is same as since the f of x is a this is valid for x is greater than 0 and lambda is greater than 0. So, this integration is valid from 0 to x lambda power n t power n minus 1 e power minus lambda times t divided by gamma of n dt. So, now we have to integrate this uh, one and get the expression for the C d f of the random variable x. So, what we can do make a substitution lambda times t that is same as you make it as some mu. Therefore, this integration becomes 
the integration from 0 to lambda times x mu power n minus 1 e power minus mu divided by comma of n into d of mu. That is same as 1 minus integration goes from lambda x to infinity mu power n minus 1 e power minus mu divided by gamma of n d mu. That is same as 1 minus since n is a positive integer gamma of n is n minus 1 factorial. So, you can take it outside you can do this integration by parts. So, you will get mu power n minus 1 e power minus mu divided by minus 1 between the limits lambda x to infinity. minus minus integration from lambda x to infinity n minus 1 times mu of n minus 2 e power minus mu divided by minus 1 d mu. So, the whole thing is multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. Now, you can integrate the second term again by integration by parts and when you substitute the limits for mu is infinity and as well as mu is equal to lambda x and subsequently if you do the integration by parts you will get 1 minus n minus 1 factorial lambda x power n minus 1 e power minus lambda x then the next term will be minus lambda x power n minus 2 e power minus lambda x by n minus 2 factorial similarly the other terms. The last term will be by doing integration by parts again and again the last term you will get a minus of lambda x power 0 e power minus lambda x by 0 factorial. This you can write it in the form 1 minus summation i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 lambda x power i e power minus lambda x by i factory. So, here we are finding the CDF of the gamma distribution when the one of the integer is a positive integer one of the parameters is a positive integer. This result will be useful in finding the total time spent in the queuing system that will be discussed in the later models.